Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. This is the eighth part for React, Redux, and Saga tutorial series. And here we will talk about that how we can get data from Redux to uh, React JS component. Till now, in last videos, uh, we created the action reducer, root reducer, store. We created all of these things that we required in uh, uh, Redux structure. So now, what we will do that we will get data from Redux store to React JS component, and for that we have to make two components. I will just go with these points also, but first of all, let me just show you what we are uh, trying to achieve in that part. So I will create a header part, then uh, I will just make a, a cart item counter, and once we will click on the add to cart, the item should be uh, increased inside the cart item counter. So inside the header, we will uh, place that cart item counter and. Uh, uh, add to cart button we will place in the another component which is the main component of our uh, application so now let's take a look on the points of this part we have to make a header and main component as i told you then we will add some style and image and keep in mind we are not going to focus uh, on the much designing part of this uh, uh, header we will just focus on the redux and uh, saga part so i will just uh, uh add style uh, but uh, that is maybe not up to the mark so you can just uh, uh, focus on the redux and saga part after that we will send data from main component to redux and we will get this data uh, from redux to inside the header component and interview question uh, uh, the question can be asked that how we can get data from redux to uh, react js component or what hook uh, is used for get data from redux the hook name you can say that use selector and how we can get it i will show you in this uh, video so now let's uh, just break app.js application uh, in the two component header as well as in the main component so what i'm going to do here i'm going to make a one more folder name which is components and let me put here the file name is header.js and uh, second one is main.js so let me just create the header component first so let's create const header and it could be a arrow function so we can return something here so let me return here div and uh, then we can uh, take one more div inside it and it's, it's div name like uh, class name is um, cart div or something whatever you want to put that name and uh, another uh, div class name we can put here header and inside it, inside it we need a span here we'll show the uh, cart item count so for a moment I am putting a static zero item and after that we are taking here image so let let's add here src and uh, you can use here font or some or any other icon library but i don't want to make a focus on that part so that's why i am just putting here directly image we can put here alt tag to remove this warning and now we can just export it export default header and we can import this inside our uh, app.js file so let me just import this header and now you will find that this is not actually look like header so we have to make some styles as i told you i'm not going to much focus on the styling part so you can just do it by why in your own way so let me put here header style comment so that we can just get to know and header style so that we can get to know that uh, in which area we are just styled that header so let me use here header class and uh, let's put here background color orange you can put here height let's say 100 pixel and now what i'm going to do here cart div let 
let me add some style here also so it should be inside the right side so i'm just putting your float right margin 30 pixel and uh, i think that's it and, okay one more thing that we need here we can just put our position relative because uh, inside this one item need to position absolute so cart div and image we can put that image uh, width also with or height uh, let's say 25 pixel or it could be 30 pixel and uh, now let's see what we can see that this is much better and uh, let's add here some style with the span also and uh, what we can do that here we can add here background color it could be let's say green and uh, border radius let's say 100 percent height it could be 25 pixel or 20 pixel width again it could be 20 pixel and uh, after that what we can add here position let's say put it absolute and uh, top it could be minus 10 pixel right mm -hmm. could be 0 pixel and now let's see what we are getting here now this is much better one more thing that we can add here color we can add here color white alright so our designing part is almost ready now you can see that okay one more thing that we have to just uh, add something inside the main.js also so for that let's just copy this app.js uh, file and paste it here because lots of things directly coming from app.js and uh, to save the time i am not creating that i am just copying that right so i don't need header part there i don't need header component i don't need this class I don't need style and logo and we can change this name main component and now we don't need uh, this button here we can remove it we don't need dispatcher and uh, add to cart they are already placed inside the main.js and now let's simply add here main.js file and one more thing inside the main.js we have to use here double dots because uh, before that this is just directly put on the root which is the app.js file and now this is placed inside the component.js components so still there this is working fine you can see that so whenever we will just click on the add to cart you can see that action is called and now add to cart is also uh, reducer is also called right everything is working fine so i just want to get this data inside the uh, header so how we can get this so for that let's come to the header and import here use selector import something from react redux and what we want to import there use selector and hook only can be used inside inside the react component keep in mind so let's take a const we can put that const name let's say result and uh, use selector and use selector basically take a, a mm, 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 callback function and it can return the complete store for uh, of redux so if i just put here redux state directly that and i want to just check that what i'm getting here uh, let's say mm, data in 
header right and now if i am just putting here result you will find that we are getting the data from redux store but this is the complete redux store so let me show you first so in first case whenever i am just just seeing that data inside the header here you can see that cart data and no action called and again if i just click on the add to cart now you can see that in, uh, again, again we get some data inside the header and cart data is two so what is that no action called what is that cart data and what is that two so you may have these three questions so first of all i am just answering that one what is cart data this is our reducer name i can show you uh let me just open here mm -hmm. index file in a reducer you can see that this is our reducer name cart data and same name is registered inside the cart data if i just registered here cart data 1 and cart data is coming from the uh reducer then it will be cart data 1 so now the name is same so that's why th that is showing that this is the data of cart data reducer one thing is clear now you can recall that part all right so now the th second thing is what is that uh, no action called so now let's get back to the reducer you can find that if there is a no case matched inside our reducer then we are just returning there no action called and when we are just refreshing our application add to cart condition is not actually matching that's why it's just showing no action called and once once the add to cart data or action is called whenever i just click on that it returns two because we just return here 1 plus 1 so if i am just putting here 200 or something now you will find that this is returning returning the 200 here we go right so this is actually basically returning on that part so we don't need this uh, commented code i am just removing this now the next question is what should be return on the default case so in the default case we should return here blank array right because there is a no meaning of no action called so we can just simply return here blank array that is perfect all right and now what we actually should return on the when we add to cart is actually called so what for a moment what you can return here you can return here action dot data and where this action dot data is actually coming from it is coming from the action file here you can see that uh, when we are just calling here uh, this action we are returning two types first one is add to cart second one is data and same thing we are getting inside the second parameter of this reducer action action dot data and add to cart right uh, action type so now what we should return here action dot data and now you will find that inside our uh, header once you will just refresh first time it will show that blank array and if i just click on that add to cart now we can see that inside the cart data we are getting here one product name mobile and whatever we are getting here right so for a moment this is static data but in up, upcoming part we will create it dynamic the data, data will be coming from the apis so stay tuned with the upcoming videos also fine so now the thing is uh, inside the header we don't need this actually uh, cart data so uh, cart data key so what i can directly do here cart data i am getting here uh, only the data inside inside the card data not card data key so now if you will refresh it we are directly getting a blank array and odd on the click on the add data uh, add to cart we are getting this object but what we want to do that we want to just increase the item of in, inside our data once you will click on the add cart so let i let's i just click the uh, click on add to cart on a five times so five item should be there right So what actually happen if I am just clicking on there, add to cart, again, again, and again, right? So you can see that um, mm, 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 did I miss something here or what? Just give me a moment. I just want to check is that uh, data in header, cart data. Yeah, that that is perfectly fine. So if I just here putting a header, and I am refreshing it, 
by default we are getting zero data and if I just click on that one you can see that we are getting only one object again we are not getting any data because we have the same data inside our uh, Redux store so which is already received so there is a no reason to just print it again because our component will not re-render again so what should actually happen if I just click the five times the five items should be added in our uh, uh, inside the header so for that what we have to do here inside the reducer we have to collect all data so just put the data inside the array and last data also so just that the last data of redux a previous data and the current data and now you will find that we are getting data increased two time three time four time and five time this is working fine so now how we can show it there so that is really simple that inside the header.js let's just replace the static zero with the result dot length and now you will find if I just click on that item one item is increased two three four five and six and lots right so that's all for this part and uh, in upcoming part we will get this uh, we will get the option for uh, remove to cart and uh, empty cart and lots of other things also and if you still have any kind of query any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box and stay tuned with us uh, because in upcoming parts we will also integrate apis and lots of other things with that project so thank you so much for watching this video and please keep supporting me with like uh, like with this video subscribe my channel and uh, uh, provide your valuable feedbacks in comment box thank you so much